Hello Year 10, you just need to put today's head in, what were the consequences of the Doors Act of 1887, put classwork and put a date. You might need to pause the video to do this. Okay, just a brief recap. So in the 1880s, the US government decided that the reservation system was causing problems. The system was costing too much money and the Plains Indians were a burden to the government. Remember, the government wanted Plains Indians to assimilate into white society. The government wanted Indians to live like white people in small family units, earning money and farming the land. The government wanted to destroy the tribal system forever. So the reservation system had tried to do this through breaking the power of the chiefs, by banning Indian religion and uh, forcing education on Plains Indians. But the Indians were still clinging on to their old way of life. They still lived as a tribe and still looked to the chief for guidance. So the reservation system was costing too much money and wasn't achieving its stated aim, that is to assimilate the Native Americans into white culture and get rid of them as a problem forever. So they were no longer a nation within. They were just taken into and assimilated into white society and they thus became US citizens, albeit second class citizens looked down upon by white people. So what you need to do is just make a brief, either copy of that introduction or better yet, just change it into your own words, either a series of bullet points or your own summary paragraph. You just need to pause the video and achieve that now. Thank you. Okay, we're now gonna move on to look at the government's new solution to this assimilation problem. What was gonna re replace the reservation system? And the government solution was called the Doors Act. 1887. But that's on the next slide, so we need to move the presentation on. Okay, so we're now going to understand what the Doors Act was and the consequences it had for Native Americans, and they weren't good consequences. So if we study consequence one, the Doors Act resulted in poverty for the Native Americans, or increased poverty because they were already suffering on the reservations. So to understand the Doors Act, it's like the Homestead Act but this time for Plains Indians. So each family was given 160 acres of reservation land to call their own and farm. But the land was often very poor and the Indians found it impossible to make a living. Most gave up and sold the land to whites and ended up homeless. Many were forced to return to the even smaller reservation land that remained, where conditions were awful. The Doors Act did not successfully assimilate Plains Indians. So just to understand it further, if you look at the map in the top left hand corner and you can see a reservation, the Ponca Reservation, circled in red. And if you look at the map at the right, that gives you a blown up view of that reservation, or at least the east side of that reservation. And you can see how the government have simply gridded out the reservation into 160 acre squares. You can see the land shaded, that's the land that's been allocated to the Plains Indians. That's their 160 acres that they can try and farm. But obviously the land was often poor, as we've said, and the Doors Act did not result in prosperity for the Native Americans, rather the reverse. So what I need you to do now is obviously pause this recording in a moment, but you need to put a heading consequence one the Doors Act resulted in poverty for the Native Americans and make your own notes explaining exactly why it created poverty for Native Americans and how the Doors Plan worked. So you'll need to pause the video now. Okay, on to the second consequence of the Doors Act. And the Doors Act resulted in further land being lost by the Native Americans. So the act also said that any reservation land left over after it had been allocated to the Plains Indians would be sold off to whites. So the land was bought by railway companies and land speculators. And because of the Doors Act, land owned by Plains Indians decreased from 138 million acres in 1887 to just 48 million acres a number of decades later. So again, if you look at our map, you look at the map on the right hand side, you can see all those big white squares. This is unallocated land, the clear squares. Now this is stolen by whites. 
stolen by the government and sold on. So a second consequence of the Doors Act for our Native Americans is it just steals their land. And you can see a poster from the time that says Indian land for sale, get a home, get a title, find, lines, find lands in the West. So essentially the government ripped off the Plains Indians, stole their land using the Doors Act. And obviously between 1887 and 1934, as we've said, the Indians lost over half of their reservation lands to whites because of this theft under the Doors Act. So again, put consequence two, put a heading that says the Doors Act resulted in further land being lost by the Native Americans. And just write your notes uh, explaining why that was and how that was. And then that ends our study of the Doors Act and reservations. And we've understood a little bit now about the US government's attempts in the 1880s to solve the problem of the Plains Indians. Okay, well done.